Oh, come on. Lock that focus. There we go. It definitely does show some wear, but I would say that I've seen worse. The leather's not ripped, it's just the paint has come off of it. Grab my phone, there we go. So there's, I just did a whole spiral. Um, now here's from like 10 or 11 o'clock going clockwise, not in the video, but clockwise moving towards 3 p.m. or, you know, 1. Really not that bad. Like I said, no rips or tears. <clears throat> Sorry. Definitely see some wear and tear, but no rips, no tears, once again. If you're not interested in this wheel, I'll definitely keep it. I definitely am interested in the airbag, all because it's black, and I do have some black wood grain leather steering wheels. If you'd be interested in a black leather wood grain let me know. It's not perfect to show some age, but it still looks nice. So, Airway Auto Parts out of Battle Creek, Michigan is where I got it. AAP. Got the cruise and everything and the horn hookup. Uh, one thing, this bracket here for the left side of the airbag is bent to shit. All because I had a hard time getting the T30 torque screw to uh, come undone. So eventually I used my impact over there, but uh, let's see if we can see the bit. Yeah, you can see it was about wanted to round off. It actually did round off a little bit. Yeah, it started to twist it, but we got it loosened finally, so that's fine. I've got me another Torx bit, another T30 that's fresh. So as you can see on this side, it is all, oh, you're telling me it was made in Mexico? Anyways, this bracket is straight as it should be. Meanwhile, this bracket got bent. You could easily swap out the brackets. Um, I'm almost curious if you put a camera bracket in instead of another forerunner because camera brackets and ES300 brackets use springs instead of this setup here. Whatever this setup is. But, uh, yep, bracket is bent, as you can see. And also, because of that, the steering wheel has a crease in it right there. Um, over on the other side, there's no creases. But this had creases because I literally had to pry up on the left side to get access to remove the nut for the steering wheel shaft. But, uh, there you go, pretty much. There is the steering wheel that I pulled off of that 4Runner. I don't remember the year, but I actually took a picture of the VIN sticker. So let me know what you think if you want it or not. Or let me know if you're interested in uh, black wood grain uh, leather wrapped ES300. The, the leather's good, but the wood's got a little bit of cracking in it, but still good. So there you go.